Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Logistics where we have this small issue going on here. We are successfully fixing our adjacency for a three-way intersection on the side here and this should clearly be outputting a Y-style intersection because it connects off the map up over this direction up to this hex. However, it's failing through and becoming a placeholder position. So we need to determine what's going on here. So, as far as this goes, we know for a fact that it is outputting three unconnected hexes and three connected hexes, which is perfect. Now these are positions, and some of these hexes are fake and some of them are real, but um, our, I, I have to assume that maybe it's getting the wrong fake position? But even so, I mean, that shouldn't happen. Yeah, that definitely shouldn't happen. So, down here we have missing neighbors on, or we don't have missing neighbors on a three-way intersection. This is working fine. This is not outputting. So we get a successful here. We get no further errors, so we know that none of this is wrong. Um, as far as this goes, if our square distance A and B and our square distance A and C are approximately equal, then we know that this is a Y intersection, which it should be here. All of those should be equivalent. Now this is just our unconnected hexes that we're working with here, so technically we're looking at this one, this one, and this one. So maybe there's something that we're doing wrong in our fake adjacency grabbing? Maybe? Shouldn't be though. Because we just grab everything that is possible and return that if it's not already on the list. Hmm. I, I, I kind of want to see. Debug.log adding to adjacency plus current adjacency i dot transform dot position okay and then down here let's check our return list so possible adjacency j dot transform dot position well these are positions so we don't need to do, need to do that so i just want to see if it's generating any duplicates Let's see. Well, we didn't have one there. Here we go. Okay, attempting to fix adjacency for three-way intersection. <laughs> we don't have anywhere near enough um, resolution in our output here. So I'm just going to multiply these by 1000F. Okay, and the same thing right here. There we go. And let's try this again. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so this one is not a duplicate, obviously. Nor is that one. Yeah, I don't think it's adding duplicates, realistically. So I don't think this is the problem. So, what is the problem then? Is the problem just that it doesn't take in the fake adjacency at some point? So like up here, we know our connected hexes 
or rather our connected neighbors, we have already added to, right? So where's our connected neighbors that we set down here? Connected neighbors is generated here. Huh, I just thought of something. What if we need to have this position added to a next road piece and previous road piece? Do we use that at all in this? It would appear we do not. Okay, so with that being the case, that's not an issue. So why is this then not properly calculating? So we check our connected neighbors, which we've already added to. So connected neighbors dot add fake position. Yeah. That's weird. Because as far as I can tell, it should be working. I'm not sure where exactly the error is here. There's clearly an error somewhere. But let's find out. Hmm. These all look great. Yep, that all looks fine. Here we go. This is more like it. So for both of these, attempting to fix adjacency for three-way intersection, successful. We've got some road merges. The road merges appear to be working perfectly. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of the we've got a road merge debug log because we haven't had any issues with that whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then as far as this goes, we've got our two three-way intersections here, and they are in tile 21, which is in fact this one, I do remember that. And then we've also got one in tile 15. So this here, attempting to fix adjacency for three-way intersection, successful. But then in both cases, this is a three-way intersection that then falls through all of the other checks. And my question is, why exactly does it fall through all of the other checks? So that's our building's road there. I mean, we don't have a else statement here because it's supposed to fall through with that magenta error mesh if this happens. But the question is, why is it happening? So I have to assume this is false. They are not approximately equal. Even though in this position right here with map hex 15, they should be approximately equal. unless it's outputting the wrong unconnected hexes, right? That's the only thing it could be. And then otherwise we determine if it's a junction or bendy jun junction. Then we check down here, if num number of sharp corners equals two, it's a bendy junction. Else, it's a road junction. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Okay, so it outputs successful. Oh. This is an else. Oh, that's the problem right there. Look at that. 
Oh my. Where does this else close at? Way down here? Way down here. Okay, so let's take all of this up to the else statement here. Let's shift tab to bring this in. Get rid of the else statement. We no longer need an else statement there. And we probably have the same thing What have I just done? I'm in the wrong place here. I'm definitely in the wrong place. Okay, so we need to fix our... Yeah, it, it's, it's still the same problem. But this else is the one that we need to get rid of. And then we need to take all of this here. I stopped too early was the problem. And shift tab that in. And now we should be okay. For the three-way intersections. We'll need to do the same thing for the four-way intersections, I think. Note that's actually not structured that way. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Let's test. This should now work. The problem was just it was an else statement that wasn't allowing it to go into it. So let's go until we get an intersection at our edges. All of these look good so far. Mm-hmm. None of these... Oh, look at that. There's a bendy junction at the edge that is facing the wrong way for sure. For one thing, this shouldn't be a bendy junction. This should be a regular junction. Okay. Hmm, so why did that happen? What do we got going on over here? So we've got map hex 20 here. It has five neighbors. This is the neighbor that it would need to be adding the adjacency for to fix the adjacency. And so the question is... Why did it come out with a bendy junction? So, let's uh, go up here. We know that this is a bendy junction because apparently the number of sharp corners equals two. We are going with unconnected hexes here. So this is not a sharp corner for sure. This is a sharp corner. Unless it output wrongly this. Which theoretically it can't do, right? So this junction here should have been a regular junction, but I have to assume that the unconnected hexes were fixed incorrectly. Let's see if we can reproduce it. Is it something that only happens with bendy junctions? We'll keep it in mind, and for the meantime, we'll just keep checking some of these other roads. Here's the same exact issue. And here's an issue here as well on an edge tile with an intersection. Interesting. So this one should have been a regular junction, but instead it became a Y junction. Which tells me that it's getting the number right, but the position might be wrong when it fixes the adjacency. Yes, indeed. Hmm. We also haven't seen any on the actual tile that goes out of the tile. That doesn't make sense. On any of the road entries, we haven't seen an intersection. And we've got the same thing right here, you notice. I think 
is outputting the wrong connected tile. Because you notice this is a four-way intersection here. But this needed to be a two-way junction. So I'm pretty sure that the unconnected tile is being output wrongly. We're going to need to double check what's going on with that. Because it's happening with virtually every single edge tile, or edge intersection at this point. And I have to wonder if it's also... Yeah. Look at that. Okay. So, we know for a fact that there is a problem with our adjacency on the edge tiles. So, it clearly thinks it's connected here, here, and here. It's connected here and here, but it's connected here. This should be a Y junction. So, this is a three-way connection, which means that the unconnected tiles should be here, here, and here. And then the connected would be here, here, and here. So, the question is, what is going wrong with fixing the adjacencies? It's happening in both three and four-way, but we're doing it the same way in three and four way. So if not connected neighbors dot contains full adjacency J and not unconnected hexes dot. I just had an idea. We can eliminate one of our variables. Down here in our add fake adjacency, we don't need a clean list or a return list. We don't need to iterate through this at all. All we need to do is return possible adjacency. That should be exactly the same. We just return that as it is. We do still need to do it in a function because it needs to be relative to our current position. But we actually don't need current adjacency anymore, so we don't need to pass that in. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Adjacent C. There we go. Because, yeah, we can simplify this quite significantly. And by doing this, theoretically, we should be able to eliminate that as a variable. Because we know for a fact that every single one of these is a possible neighbor. And if we just return the possible neighbors and add in the fake ones that don't actually already exist, then that should eliminate that as a variable. So then that way we know that it's a problem in our intersection code. Okay, so let's find ourselves an edge intersection. Uh, let's see here. None here. Here's some. Oh boy, now we still have some missing neighbors. Okay. Well, that's definitely progress, <laughs> I guess. So, why is it uh, not adding these in now, then? And realistically, we should be able to get rid of this right here. There we go. And I think we can get rid of this as well. We're already guaranteeing that our connected neighbors dot count equals this with our switch statement, so. Okay. That's not going to do anything, but I'm going to go ahead and recompile it, because that way we know for a fact that it's not being uh, caught up by connected neighbors. Okay, let's find ourselves an edge intersection. Here's one. Still have missing neighbors for three-way intersection. I'm going to go ahead and call this failure. Still have missing neighbors on three-way intersection. And then up here, failure. Still have missing neighbors on four-way intersection. So the question is... Why is our unconnected hexes not being properly added to? I'm, instead of doing missing neighbors, let's actually check to see if there's too many unconnected hexes. Unconnected hex unconned unconnected unconnected hexes dot count equals uh, plus 
unconnected hexes dot count. Okay. Okay, let's see if we have too many unconnected hexes or if we have too few unconnected hexes. We clearly don't have exactly the right number of unconnected hexes, but let's see which it is. Hmm. Well, here we go. Unconnected hexes dot count equals seven. Well, that's interesting. I thought that might be the case. So what that indicates to me is that we have some floating point issues here. So instead of doing dot contains, we need to be running a better check. Which is kind of obnoxious. Um, I don't think we can set any sort of fudge to our contains. So we're going to have to do this slightly differently. So instead of doing it like this, let's go ahead and say if... Actually, we need to iterate through connected neighbors. So let's say bool contains equals false. And then for each vector3 neighbor in connected neighbors is going to be kind of annoying to do. So if approximately equal at this point neighbor and full adjacency j full adjacency j and we'll just leave this at the default fudge for right now. We can always tweak that later on. So if approximately equal contains equals true break and actually, let's let's encapsulate this into a function. So let's say instead of connected neighbors dot contains full adjacency j, let's come down to the bottom here and let's create ourselves a private bool list contains actually approximate contains and let's call this we're going to need to pass in a list of vector threes. We'll call that list. And then vector three item. And then we'll do exactly the same thing for each vector three item in list. If approximately equal item actually we'll need to call this something different i'm going to call this list item if approximately equal list item item and then i'm going to say fudge because i'm going to add in a float fudge equals 0.0005f contains equals true break return contains okay so now we've got ourselves a function for this so that should make things a lot more compact for us up here so where were we we were doing in the four right here so if approximately can if approximate contains and we want it to be if not approximate contains and this is going to be our first we need our list so this will be connected neighbors. And then second, we need our item, which is full adjacency J. I'm going to leave it at the default fudge for right now. And then I'm going to say and approximate contains. And we want it to be not approximate contains. And this is going to be unconnected hexes. Full adjacency J. Need a closing parenthesis. And then curly brackets, and we just put in our unconnected hexes at that point. Okay. So that is us with a little bit more control over that than just using contains. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. Now, full adjacency is not used here because I'm in the wrong place. 
we need to be here. Unconnected hexes. There we go. Okay. Now let's see how this outputs. With a little bit of fudge thrown in there, we might not have some, th some floating point errors that would cause it to put in multiples and cause it to just completely freak out. Okay, so far so good. Ooh, look at that, five point rotation, correct. I like to see that. What else do we have here? Anything? Ooh, look at that. That looks perfect right there. Let's see if we got another one. These all look good. So far so good. Not very many edge intersections as of right now. Uh, none there. Nothing. 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 <laughs> Not a lot of them generating in here. That's a little bit unfortunate. Let's try a different hex. Let's try over here. Let's see. Five-way intersection pointing the correct direction. Everything looks good so far. I think... Once we see a couple more intersections on the edge, we might be able to say that we are done with road generation? Maybe? Assuming we don't have any other bugs crop up. But so far, this is looking absolutely perfect in every generation. Yeah, this is looking amazing so far. Very, very excellent. Now, we have not had many instances, shall we say, of... of edge, uh... edge intersections, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm really trying to get those edge intersections before I declare us... There's another good one there. Before I declare us done here, let's pop up over to this hex. And let's see if there's any up here. Hmm. Here's one. It's always this one, though. But that's always been correct so far. I just want to make absolutely certain before I declare us done here. Before I move on from roads. But so far, I've noted no issues. And this is pretty glorious. Oh man, it's just not wanting to generate edge tiles. Let's pop up... I don't like this hex. Let's pop up over to this hex. There we go. And <laughs> that one again. Okay. Oh, here's a junction. That's perfect. Again, it's this guy, though. We're not generating any outside of this one, which is a little weird, but it's RNG. Random will do what random will do. But I think if we've gone through this many hexes without a single problem, I think it's pretty safe to say that our road system is complete. And with that, we will finally be moving on to a few other things in this game. Which is good, because the roads took longer than anticipated, but they're also relatively complicated generationally. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's safe to say that we're good. We're not seeing a single issue. Once again, it's this one that generated the intersection. I'm not super enthused that it's just been that one that we see, but if that one's working, theoretically the others should be as well. So yeah, I'm like 95% certain, actually I'm at this point 100% certain that it was the fudge that was causing it. But just not many edge intersections generating all of a sudden. Of course, there's also the fact that I'm not necessarily noticing them, because they're just working. So there's that. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And next episode, I think we are ready to finally move on from roads. See you all then.